In this on-chain wallet tutorial for beginners, you will see how to get started on on-chain wallet. Navigate on this app step by step. Send, receive, swap and trade and use all the other features on this app. Make sure that you are using the correct app that has more than 1 million downloads and tens of thousands of reviews. After you have installed the app, you can simply click here open. First, when you are starting from zero as a new user, you have two different options. First option is to create a new wallet and the second option is to import an existing wallet. If you click here create a new wallet, you will first accept the terms and service and privacy notice, click here continue and then it creates the wallet immediately. You will be able to back it up by clicking here back up now and you have two options to Google Drive or by writing down. Do know that if you back it up to Google Drive, that is not ultra secure so you don't want to store a lot of money there. Writing it down is typically safer. I have seen many stories of people losing their money because they store their crypto wallet digitally. That's why write it down. Another safety and security measure I recommend is to treat your wallet similarly as you would treat your physical wallet so you don't store life changing money there, perhaps a couple of hundred dollars maximum. Once you have created your wallet, you can navigate between your own wallets by clicking here on the top and here is wallet 1, wallet 2 and you can create even more wallets if you want. Let's go back to wallet 1. Now you are able to change the name of your wallet by clicking here edit wallet name. You can put here for example your primary wallet let's say. You click here save and now it might be easier for you to differentiate which wallet you are using. Now when you click here on the right hand side for wallet and you click this settings button on the top, you are able to set up even more security measures. You can set up the recovery phase, usually 12 words. You can set up a passcode and enable biometric ID so you can use your fingerprint to access the app. You can enable two-factor authentication and also auto app lock. So if you don't use the app for example for one hour or five minutes or one minute, it will automatically lock the app as you can see right here. And then you are able to connect this wallet into the crypto.com app. This will allow you to transfer coins easily between crypto.com on-chain and the crypto.com app. But keep in mind, it may lead to some loss of privacy. Another benefit of connecting Crypto.com app and on-chain wallet may be seen right here. Chronos to Crypto.com card top-up. This article explains that you will be able to top up your Crypto.com Visa card using on-chain transactions. When you open your Crypto.com app, come to Visa card and you click here on the top. You are able to choose here top up with Kronos chain. Once you are done with your security settings and perhaps connecting with Crypto.com app, which is optional, you are ready to start using the app. Here on the wallet, you are able to buy crypto by clicking here buy and here you can choose which crypto you want to buy. For example, Bitcoin and you can buy Bitcoin with Google Pay, credit or debit card with USD account if you have linked with the Crypto.com app. You are able to send funds by clicking here send and here you can see which coin you want to send. And you are able to receive funds in the same way by clicking here receive and follow the instructions on the screen. Then there is also this earn section right here. And here they offer different earn options and features. For example, Ferro protocol, there is a compound lending, Aave lending, Ethereum staking and also Cosmos staking and other ways. You can see the APR, so annual percentage rate here and sometimes it may seem surprisingly high. You can see here for example more than 50%. But do know that if you see such a high interest rate like more than 50% it usually comes also with the high risk. 
Personally, I prefer to use the Crypto.com app for saving and getting interest when I click here Crypto Earn feature. I'm able to save in multiple different currencies including Bitcoin and this is something I personally prefer to do. If you want to see a more detailed comparison between on-chain earn and crypto.com app earn, take a look at my playlist crypto.com app tutorials and here you will see my complete comparison between those two. When you click the center button here on the on-chain wallet, you will find some of the most important features on this app. Here you can also do the send and receive in the same way as in the wallet section, also the buy, but then you will notice this one, swap and bridge, trade and transfer tokens across chains. Let me show you a couple of example trades. Here you can trade or convert between two different cryptocurrencies, for example from BNB and here we can choose what other currency I want to receive. Let's say I want to receive USDT and here I can choose how much BNB I want to convert. I have written here 0.01 BNB and it shows how much USDT I will receive after the swap. I can click here review swap and then I have a couple of seconds time to refresh. I click here confirm to the DATS ID and you can see it's swapping right now. A few moments later. You can see here in the activity section that the first swap failed because I didn't click fast enough but the second swap has been successful. You can see here that 0.01 BNB has been reduced and I received the USDT into my wallet right here. You can see USDT received. When you are trading and swapping here, remember to use the correct chain because as you know this, there are multiple different chains available, BNB chain, Ethereum, Chrono, Solana, Polygon and Avalanche and even more. Usually if you swap in one chain, the fees are lower, but if you are doing so-called bridge, so you are swapping for example from BNB smart chain into Ethereum chain, then the fees tend to be higher. Let me show you an example. Here the fees are more than one dollar when swapping from BNB to USDT on Ethereum. But if I choose the USDT in BNB chain, the fees are much lower. You can see they are roughly 10 times lower. Another thing you want to notice that you need to have some coins to cover the gas fees. If you are using BNB chain, you need Binance coin. If you use Ethereum chains, you need some ETH on Kronos chain, you need Kronos tokens and so on and so forth. Let me swap back from USDT to BNB. Here it always shows where it's swapping, then it shows the slippage tolerance, it shows the price impact and the estimated network fee. When you review the swap, you can see the details again and then you can confirm the swap. Notice here that when I tried to swap back from USDT to BNB, again the first time I was too slow, the second time I did it fast enough, but this is something good for you to know why it might fail, is that you need to click pretty fast to get the swap done. Here on the center button you also notice this DJ Arcade, let me click that one, it says discover and trade meme coins. And you may see massive gains for some of these coins. You can see plus 900% in 24 hours, plus 3000% and other crazy gains. But it's good to remember that usually insiders benefit the most from meme coins, while normal users tend to lose money. So if you would ever use this Deeds and Arcade, I recommend going in with the mentality that you will lose it all because here you will have extremely high risk and volatility. Perpetuals here are also high risk and here you can guess whether the BTC price will go up or down. You are able to use leverage all the way up to 200x, which is completely extremely high risk. The lower the leverage, the smaller the risk, the higher the leverage, 
the bigger the risk. You can see here I have only a little bit over 5 USDC available and it says insufficient network fee and balance so you would need to have enough money available to do this. But I recommend proceed with caution because perpetuals with leverage always have a higher leverage than for example spot trading. Now let me show you how to execute a withdrawal step by step from this app even without connecting to crypto.com app. So I click here send, then I choose which coin I want to send. I choose here BNB, I choose here BNB smart chain and here I'm able to again connect to crypto.com app when the withdrawal might be a little bit easier just a couple of clicks of a button but I can also do it by copy pasting the recipient address right here so I go to crypto.com app I choose here crypto wallet I choose here BNB I choose here transfer and deposit I choose BSC chain I click here copy I paste the address right here I click here next I click here got it, I choose the amount to send and I click here send BNB, I choose the confirmation speed priority estimated time 10 seconds, I click here save, I can still verify the details and I click here confirm to send, I verify my fingerprint and you can see the transaction is pending. Many, many minutes later. You can see here on the Crypto.com app that the deposit has been processed successfully. It took more than 10 minutes this time, so the speed of transaction may vary. Now I'm able to use these funds in any way I want on my Crypto.com app. Do you also want to learn how to use this Crypto.com app? You can learn how to use all the features including reward section, how to use crypto in real life with the crypto.com visa card and also other amazing features. I want to invite you personally to come to my playlist crypto.com app tutorials because here I have dozens of step by step tutorials showing you how to use this app and helping you to move forward. So simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and see my Crypto.com app tutorials immediately.